The male-dominated sport has been working hard to support its female players. A $3 million funding boost by Rugby Australia this year has seen more women strapping up their boots and getting involved. So I've played in other sports before. Um, the Western Force here, like everyone is just so accommodating to um, me being a mum. Like, you know, you're always a mum first before everything else and they're just, they're just always real nice and accepting. Western Force player Anika Stevens says the extra money has made a big difference. The club has been able to hire full-time coaches and can now pay its players a livable wage, a step towards them becoming full-time athletes. And the results have been almost immediate, with the women set to play in the Super W semi-final later this month. We have some that are full-time workers and full-time mums. So with that, it allows them to have a greater flexibility within the program, so they can actually be here, focus on the rugby. Claudia Bell is the club's first female high-performance manager. Being a female, obviously, and dealing with female athletes, there is an element of communication and, I guess, respect on a different level that you do automatically receive being a female. Thousands tune in across the country to watch the women play, with those numbers continuing to grow. The club hopes to inspire young girls and show them a career in sport is not out of reach. Anika's daughter Kaya is one of the many young players chasing a career in the sport. If you train hard, you know, it'll eventually pay off. You know, there's now girls can dream to be a rugby professional, you know, so just, just keep going. Small steps producing lasting change. Ruby Littler, ABC News.